Hello, this is Mr. Doty again, and this is part two of my sec or, um, selection of videos. We'll go that route with it. And going over your template and how to adjust it from just an A size template. And we're going to add the uh, B, C, and D size um, layouts. So the last one we went over, uh, we talked about your your styles as far as your text styles, uh, your annotation styles for your dimensioning, uh, your multi-leader styles, because you know you need to have a metric and an inch annotated for each one. So we went over that. Uh, like I said, I wanted to divide this into multiple videos, keep them kind of short, and kind of go over what we want to do. So previously we have made a template with just an A size on it, but in some of the upper level classes you're going to need to add these other ones on here. Now you may already have a B size from where I've started to add this into some of the intro classes. But basically what you do is when we set it up before, if you right click on the tab with the layout on it, you can go to the page setup manager and you can go to modify and then we have our A size set up for ANSI full bleed A. Well we can also change that if we scroll up a little bit or down or however you want to call it anyway um, we have full bleed B, full bleed C, and full bleed D and basically what I've done is I just picked the first one of each of these or the lower one of each of these uh, to set it up and that's all I did to change it now one of the things that you do have to do like when you go to the B size now I added some dimensions you won't leave these dimensions on here but I added some dimensions to help you understand how big things are so the border ends up being instead of a quarter inch off the edge from B size on up to D size they're half inch all the way around and your title block changes uh, for the B size I have a 5 8 title block and uh, this is on a sheet that a uh, handout that's in your uh, on the class and uh, it'll, it'll be in your um, template folder for the class and Basically, you know, your A size, it has the quarter inch border, you come up three eighths, and then you come over the measurements you need to come over. And I left this out here on this one. I went ahead and I put my name in here. So this would be your name, of course. And of course, this would be CAD whatever is your class. And then you have your date, you have your um, file name, and these are set up as fields. And then you have your scale, and then your scale set up as a field. Well, on B, all I did was copy some of this over. And, um, you know, basically, all you have to do is you want to make a copy of it. So, well, let's just look at it this way. So, I have an A size, right? And then I have a metric A size. Well, what if I wanted to take this B size and make it metric? Well, when I went from A size to B size, I had, had <clears throat> excuse me, I had to do a little adjusting, okay? So um, here, let me just give you an example. So if I take this uh, A size right here, okay? And I go over here to move or copy, because this is basically all I'm doing. And uh, it shows up over here on my other screen. So let me go up here. So, uh, and where do I want it to go? So I'll just say it's going to show up after, or we'll say it'll show up in front of this B size right here create a copy and hit OK. Now there it is. So whichever one you want it to be in front of that's where you need to put it and that's where it'll go. Okay, You click on that one and that's where it'll go. I picked B size so I put it in front of it. Okay so there is another A size. If I wanted to change the size of the paper you right click on it, you go to page setup manager, uh, you go to modify and then all I did is I went here and I went and scrolled up to B and like I said I picked the lower one which is the first one as I'm going up and then I just hit OK and I hit close 
and you'll notice that you have the uh, bigger piece of paper. So you saw where I have this fixed, right? So all I did was use my stretch command. Uh, well, first of all, I moved this over. So I go to move, pick on this, enter. Um, I'm going to pick this corner. And then I want to move it 0.25, comma, 0.25. And that's going to move it up and over a quarter of an inch, which makes this a half inch, hopefully. And then uh, I need to close this in and stretch this up here and stretch this over. Well, I figured out what the dimensions are that you have to do. Uh, to make this A turn into a B, you're going to stretch this up. Looks like um, two inches. And then I'm going to stretch it over. Notice you have to use a crossing window. And I'm going to go to the right. I believe it's five and a half. <clears throat> five and a half. All right. So that gets that the way I need it. So then now I've got that on there. The viewport stretched as well. Now we're going to talk about viewports on another video and uh, so don't worry too much on that. But uh, eventually we're going to fix it to where you can have multiple viewports and uh, that way you can scale things at different sizes without you know having to do a lot of work hopefully. At least that's the plan. Alright so if I had this the way I wanted it and um, you know I wanted to change the name of this all I do is right click on it rename and then you know I could call it inch you know B size and I've already got one so anyway no big deal and then I hit enter and it's fine alright so to get this set up the way I want it I have to change the uh, title block so I'm giving you an example right here and uh, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little Word document, turn it into a PDF, and I'll do some screenshots of these different ones with these measurements. That way you don't have to go back to the video every time and go, oh man, what was that measurement? Okay. So that's how you make this turn it into another one. Now I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. Uh, delete. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, so like I said, I have an A size, I have a B size, I have a C size. Now what I did on the C size, uh, you'll notice it has the half inch border, so I didn't have to do anything except stretch. Um, on this one, uh, I had to stretch it six up, so I stretched this up six, and then I stretched it over to the right uh, five inches. So up six over five, that gives you a C. Then I went in and I created this um, title block. Now it's a variation on one that's on the sheet that I have posted in your title block folder on the class. Uh, but it'll work. So you have the name of the school, you have your drawing name, uh, which we have set up as a field, uh, you know, your name here, the date, the scale, and this is a new one so if you have multiple sheets of the same size then you can say one of two, one of three, two of two, or two of three, whatever you need to do to make your set of drawings. And you'll understand that a little bit more as we go along and you do multiple sheeted things like if you have an assembly drawing or a whole working drawing that you have to uh, put together. And then of course you have your class here and I just put question marks so that you can make it into whatever class you need to. Alright, so those are those measurements. I'll, like I said, I'll put those on a document where you'll have access to them. Uh, when you're done, obviously you don't need to have all these dimensions. You just need it to be, you know, looks like a border and title block and then you've got your viewport. And I have this one up here. I didn't... Um, it was sitting down here and I just kind of scooted it over just out of the way so that um, if I wanted to later on we can add another one and like I said that will do that in a different video okay so that's your C then you go over to your D size 
and um, which is 22 by 34. And uh, of course your border ends up being 21 by 33. And I just use the same title block. So when you get your D made up, then you just copy it over and, or I mean your C made up, and then it's easy to turn it into a D size. Okay, so how do we turn these into metric? Well, if you remember on the metric, what we did, uh, well, first of all, let's just do this. I've got a B size and uh, I'm going to right click on it, go to go move or copy. Uh, I'm going to click the C so that it ends up behind the B. Create a copy, hit OK. And now I have a copy of it, right? So now, oops, click on it, rename it. And uh, this is gonna be metric. All right, so we've got metric, B size. Okay, so on the metric B size, we need to put it on metric paper. Well, we're not really gonna put it on metric paper. We're just going to scale the paper up so that it works correctly. So what you need to do uh, is you need to right click on it. You need to go to your page setup manager, go to modify. And the only thing we're gonna do, if you remember on the A, all we did is change our units to metric and then put this back on one to one I didn't need to change this because it's already set up so see if you'll set up your A B C D on inches then all you have to do is go in make a copy of it change it to millimeters hit OK close and then scale your border and title block up so I'm going to go to scale, pick everything, enter. Uh, my base point is going to be 0, 0, enter, and then 25.4 is going to be your scale factor. And there it is. Now, now like I said, I don't need these dimensions, so I'm going to go delete them because now they're not metric because they just aren't. All right, so there it is. So there's my metric B size. So I would do the same thing for the C size and the D size. I'm just gonna go to C size, right click on it, move or copy, uh, pick it to go in front of the D size, make a copy, hit OK and then go in and do the same thing. Setup Manager, Modify, change this to millimeters, change that back to one to one, hit OK, hit Close, and now you've got this to where all you have to do is scale it up. So scale, uh, 0, 0, 25.4, and you're good to go. And then I'm going to get rid of my dimensions that I had on here because they don't mean anything here. And um, there it is. So hopefully you get the idea of what I need to do or what you need to do. And uh, like I said, I want to keep these fairly short on videos. So basically that's all you need to do. Uh, and then go back. Uh, so you're going to have a B size inch, a metric B size, a metric C size, right click on here, rename it, and um, call it metric. Metric and C size, enter, and there you are. And so the only thing I have left to do is make a D size, and that's just going to be copy, uh, change the units to uh, metric one-to-one, -one, and then rename it. And of course, scale everything up 25.4. And then you'll have your A through D on your layouts. And that's what you want. So um, that's all I've got for now. I'll come back with another video, uh, part three, and we'll work on some other things that will help us get our title blocks and 
and our layouts and everything set up for our template the way we need to. Have fun.